It's over and earlier, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Welsh gangster is here. The baddest of them all. What's up? And boys? one more for the bad guy. <laughs> Who's the baddest of them all? Oh, it's definitely Oban Elliot. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Oban, that fight you had in Dame Wise Contender Series, like I, I stayed up, watched it, like it was uh, on, it was unreal, man. It was unreal. It's fucking like, mad, if like, you're going to put this man, the Welsh gangster, in a coffin, you better nail it shut, because if not, he's coming back for you, baby. Exactly. Oh, man. Tell, did, tell I not, what... did I not say that before the fucking fight, boys? That man, I've heard about a million fighters come out with the line, and it's always bullshit. I'm willing to die in there. No one is willing to do that. Yeah, except of course for you fucking old are. Man nah. idiot. Exactly. Yeah, of course you are. You're willing to die. You're willing to die. You get clipped, and then next thing you know, you're intelligently defending yourself when really you're saying, ref, please make him stop hitting me. Yeah, There's no on, such like... thing as in- intelligently defending yourself. Because as soon as I've, I've been there, as soon as you do this, you if you guard up, it's like, well, the ref is like, the jumps in. I've been there. Do you know what I mean? Like I did it with fucking, um, yeah, both of my losses. He's like, defend yourself. And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Okay. I'll, defend myself fight gets stopped so that that one I was like fuck this I'm not letting that happen again you fucking have it mate as soon as I fucking <laughs> man <laughs> but, but like when you were going back out saying you're willing to die and stuff the way the camera zoomed up in your face and the way you got it done like what was the emotion like after that one Ev- oh mate I'm still riding it now I I literally just watched it funnily enough Um, people were sharing the clip and like fuck me mate Literally, I literally stood up. And the reason I did that, I put my arms up, is because he was like hanging off the fucking octagon, breathing. So I thought, right, I'll show the judges what the crack is now. So I stood up, like hands out. Remember, like Pereira did against Adesanya, where he's like, yeah. oh, like that. So I just stood up, looking at him like this, and then he faced me, and then I asked what I said to him, "I'm ready to die, boy." So I fucking was, <laughs> mate. I swear to God, I would have never, I wouldn't be able to live with like the the. Well, of course, I'd live with it, but that the the it would have been a massive. There would have been so much fucking anger if that ref stopped that fight. I would have been like fuming until I, until I until I got there again, you know. So yeah, and then after then after the fight, sorry, Ross, I'll let you jump in now. Yeah, after the fight, uh, Oban, what did did you think you were actually going to get the contract as well? Because a lot of times, yeah, people... I totally forgot that that was even a factor. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Then, what, I, was walking, I was walking around there like, yes, it's good to be here. Fucking hell, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. And then they fucking walked me around, and then the stools, and I was like, oh yeah, this part now. And yeah. then she didn't get one next to me. I was like, oh no. Yeah, because <laughs> I think it was Daniel Cormier saying that he didn't think that like you were going to get it. He's well, what does he know anyway? What does he, he know? know? Playing double champ knows nothing. Ah, uh, why did he say that? No. Yeah, what did you, take, you Were you like, take, right, I'm definitely getting this. He what, must what were you have, thinking? He must have, um, he must have like gone out the bat and got some Popeye's chicken in for the third round or something. <laughs> I know, man. I, I was like, he has to get it. He has to get it. Like, that was, yeah, it, I, I thought, think it was because we had you and George on in the build up, and then the week before, George lost. And then the way you came and done that, it was. Um, I was like, you have yeah. to give this is this guy is a real this guy is a hundred percent a fighter that deserves it after that performance. And I mean, look, it, I guess like I got hit with a big shot, and you know what the DC say? It's like ah, oh, because I, and obviously I sold myself after in the interview, and he's like, yeah, well, toughness and trying hard doesn't get you a contract, but like you've only got to look at like the the Sheehan fight right before that. Like, look mm. how good I was in that fight, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, but there's, so, there's a difference between toughness and then like the mentality that you showed in that fight is 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 a different gravy. Like we've seen people who are is that not tough. a bare minimum? Uh, like I don't think uh, if that was the bare minimum, I don't think a lot of people would actually uh, make it because I don't think yeah. people have the actual mental strength and capacity to eat some of the shots that you uh, and keep on coming forward. No. Well, if they don't, mate, then they don't want to get fucking locked in a cage with me. Put it that way. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's true. That you is, know what I mean? As is, as, as my, the saying that's goes, my uh, bare minimum. That's my bare minimum. As the saying goes, uh, Oban, it's not about how hard you can hit; it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward? That's how winning <laughs> is done. And then, <laughs> and then look what happens. What's after happening next? UFC two ninety eight in Miami. When when you got that phone call, then Oban, like like, surely you must have been chuffed getting getting on a, a pay per view card. I was. I just laughed. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking hell, look at it, man. Pay per view, debut, Miami. and they told me January. So I was thinking, ah, oh, they're gonna chuck me. They're gonna chuck me in the fucking apex for January, aren't they? Because I'm just a little debut and who like nearly got knocked out in his contender series fight. No, straight on the pay per view, straight in the red corner. Fucking great, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like, what a pay per view it is! Like, you're on there with you know Volkanovski, pound for pound, one of the best of all time. Robert Whitaker, Henry Cejudo, you know what I mean? Like it's it's yeah, a mad card. It's... Ian Gary's on the card as well. Whether you love him or hate him, one of the most talked about fighters on the UFC roster at the moment. You know what yeah. I mean? So like, it, it's an absolute whopper card. And uh, you know, you have the capabilities, Obama, seeing the show both inside and outside the octagon. And I, you know, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not gonna... Out, but... They'll be able to catch it on. It should be. It should be on the UC Floyd Pass, shouldn't it? Yeah. Hope, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. So hopefully it's actually. A, it's actually a great time as well for the audience, like over here it's, in Europe, it's to like check it out. Prime time UK time, isn't it? It's like eleven yeah. thirty, and the yeah. Fury fight's not even going ahead now, so there's no, there's no chance of anyone missing it. Exactly. Well, they get yeah. like the people. And like, in. yeah, you know, this is just this is just what I've always um, expected of myself. Like, and and to be honest, right. I, you probably couldn't have got away with saying this uh, um, a couple of years ago because it's such a cliche. But you know who I look up to the most is Conor McGregor because, like, he literally, I'm like step one or step two into the plan that he completed, kind of thing. So, like, I've always like imagined and visualized and believed I would be in this position, right? And like I've got my foot foot on the ladder, and I think that's just remarkable. The fact that I've even got this far. Like, of course, I knew it and expected it myself. But if you think about it, right? How many kids sit there and fucking actually achieve what they set out to achieve? Not that many. So no. like, I'm there calling my shop from a young age. Of teachers telling me fucking I'll do a real sport kind of thing, listening to school because that sport is nonsense. And now look at me. So like in terms of uh in terms of that, like you look at you know bro boys, I can't put it into fucking words. It's nuts. It's nuts. It isn't. Oh by Nelly, so shock caller. I'm so grateful. I'm not like, oh look at me. I'm the man. I should have always been a yeah, I am the man, but <laughs> like, come on, I'm grateful for this. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm grateful for this. I'm not just gonna just sit here and and feed you full of bullshit saying, Oh yeah. It's about time. Like, yeah, it's about time. But in the same breath, it's fucking... I'm very grateful to be doing this. Like, I've all the MMA fighters that dream of fighting in the UFC. I'm making my debut on a fucking pay-per-view card in Los Angeles, California. This scumbag from a council house <laughs> who used to nick out the fucking shop for his for his lunchtime because he didn't have any change. Now look at yeah. me. I know, Owen. We've been following you for ages, but and then, like... When you get put straight onto a pay per view card, like it, it means the the UC mean business, don't they, Ross? Yeah, definitely. Like they're they're, they're definitely. I put it this way: uh, Val Woodburn lost his last fight to Bo Nickel. Uh, like I don't think they're like you know what? We'll give Val Woodburn the shot on the pay per view card. I think Oban's the A side coming into this fight. He's the one with the upstart to it. And also, I do think I know you referred to it there that there's like a touch of a Connor like you know, similarities to the way Conor McGregor done it and, like, he could be an inspirational figure. But, like, there is something to be said that, you know, um, at the moment, there's only sort of you and Jack Shore flying that Welsh flag in Wales. Oh, yeah. And, 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 like, at the end of the day, like, there's a whole nation in Wales to get behind you guys and mm. make you guys to be big superstars the way the Irish got behind Conor. And 100%. not only is that, it's, it's, it's the way... They saw the Irish get behind Connor is what made everyone else fall in love with him. And it's the same thing can happen that 
if it not only all the Welsh actually get behind you, but if people can see the Welsh get behind you, that's what will turn you into superstar. Because then the Americans will go, "Geez, that Welsh fella's mad bastard. Let's support him as well." And that's 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 what you need. You, you want the American buy-in, but it has to come from your hometown buy-in first. I guess, yeah, and and they, I think they are going to think that. Mm. Well, same here. No, well, like, there's nobody fucking. There's nobody like me, boys. And no, there's definitely not. <laughs> They're like we 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 must be interviewed thousands of fighters this stage, old man. I'm like, yeah, you stick out like not, a sore thumb. I'm not trying to be anyone. It's this is just it's just ha- it's like I open my fucking mouth and I say the right thing that's meant for the fight game. I don't think or read off fucking scripts or anything like that. I'm me, and mate, I've I've demanded to be here. Do you know what I mean? I've demanded it, and I fucking I I, I messed up in cage wars a little loss here and there. But I never, ever, ever let anything get me down. And I fucking got here. So now I'm here. You're going to need a fucking army to get rid of me. Put it that way. <laughs> you know, it's not going to be, oh, yeah, nah. And I'm on the, you know what I mean? I'm on the, you think I'm going backwards now? You're fucking mad. There's no way. There's no way. It is just, oh, I get fired up talking about it because I'm just, I'm about to do everything I always knew I do, and and there's not a fucking man that can stop and stop that can stop what's about to happen. I genuinely believe that, you know. It's fucking amazing. It's amazing. And you, as you say, for the the fan base, mm. we fucking Wales play rugby down there, at eighty thousand full. Can't get a ticket. So imagine if we can get, you know, the MMA can, and it already is. You know what I mean? I'm the fucking, I'm the talk of the town. So like. <laughs> Imagine if MMA can get that kind of popularity, which mm. I hope I can and bring, especially in the valleys and that. It's like, mate, I'll have the UFC. Oh, fuck it, look at me before I meet my debut, saying shit like that. <laughs> get it off your chest, though, man. This is terrible. This oh, is well, a terrible. Oh, well, I won't be impressed with the rail service now if there's not uh, posters of Oban Elliot on the, on the inside and outside of every train. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I want to see. I want to see at the platform. <laughs> yeah, big of me like that. <laughs> I, I, I want to see you doing it in your UFC gear and like so, well, side by side in your rail gear. But mate, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the oranges, boys. I don't fuck about. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, Look man. at that man, honest working class man. Like, what more do you yeah. want? What am I going to do now? Just going to tart around wearing fucking Louis Vuitton. On tick and, take, <laughs> and get someone fucking taking pictures of me in the gym. I granted I've got that. It's sash shots, fair play to him, but mate. Nah. No, you're smashing oh man, you're absolutely smashing it. And you're you're a quality uh, character. Even even when you fought in Cage Warriors in Dublin and you beat like a team Rhinos, James Sheen. Yeah. Like, fans still like they like a lot of the time, like Irish fans would be against whoever they're if they're fighting an Irish person. But after, I think you won over the fans as well, which was great to see. I hope I did. I hope I did, mate. Because like, of all the people to fill in, right? Fucking, you know, James Sheen. What? And it's just as I said, that he's the right guy in the right place. He's at the wrong time. And I hope now he gets mm-hmm. the title fight. He actually messaged me the other days, a uh, nice message, and I said, I hope you get the title shot. You deserve it. So yeah, as you say, of all of all the people to fucking. Beat a fight on his own mm. turf, like you know, it happened to it happened to him, which you know, shit happens to it. I'm sure I've got a fucking ass kicking coming for me at some point. So I'm, you know what I mean? Like it all comes back around. I'm not stupid. You know Just I mean? not Miami, baby. Uh, ah, yeah. Los Angeles. All right, sorry, Los Angeles. Apologies. No, oh, no, mate. mate that's sorry, two nine nine is Miami. Apologies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. um, oh. oh, please. Yeah, then uh, Oban, like uh, I know you're, I know you're, like uh, you're very busy, so we'll we'll let you head on now in a second. But the thing is, you're obviously taking on Val Woodburn. What do you actually know about Val? And when you got this name, what were you sort of thinking? Mate, honestly, right? If I could, if I had something to say about him, I'd say it. But um, I just wish I, I What do I think about Val Woodburn? It could honestly he, he is so 
it feels so irrelevant to what's going on in my mind right now, you know. Good luck to him, but he's yeah, yeah, I got a fucking chance, but are we? It's all I gotta say about him. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. And, uh, and tell us this obviously, you're fighting basically the other side of the world. Well, they're uh, will a Welsh army be traveling across with you, or they what? will be, yeah. They've we got like there's like 30, 30 people coming, 30 gangsters. There's, there's oh, yeah, <laughs> all, all in high vis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're the dive is now. We're actually gonna wear we're gonna wear American flags because of um the passing of the late great Apollo Creed. Oh Again. yeah, Lord, yeah. Yeah, that um I might do something about that. But yeah, there's a lot of people, a lot of the boys coming. My family is coming, my mother's coming. So it's um mate, it's it's a this is like the most surreal surreal fucking every time I wake up I'm like what the fuck honestly and, too and, good and, to be, it feels too good to be true at this point it's fucking nuts I, I know the odd time Chael Sonnen works the desk for ESPN would, would it be crazy if you saw Chael Sonnen over there and yeah I think well what's his name told me the other day that uh, Sean Sheehan said that he works the desk for the pay-per-views is that right yeah. well boys imagine that yeah what, what, like, obviously, I'm looking forward to your fight, but I'm also looking forward to the post fight speech as well. On the mic, that is going to be pure entertainment. Yeah, oh, mate, ah, oh. there's nothing I could possibly tell you, right, in this podcast right now that is going to do what you will see from myself next Saturday, Justice. Is you will all sit there and look at yourselves and think, oh my fucking god, he's the man now. This is all I've literally. You can fucking send King Kong in there with me. You can send Godzilla. When you ask me about Val Woodburn, mate, yeah, yeah. he can think whatever. Like um, whether he thinks I'm fucking looking past him, looking through him, underestimating him. You saw in my last fight what I'm about when it comes to fighting. So yeah, couldn't give a fuck what he thinks. You put anyone in there, right? They are fucked. They are yeah. absolutely fucked. Simple as that. You can't go up against the Kill me. Press. Fair enough. Put me there. <laughs> Put me there and bang the nail in the box. And yeah, you'll finish me off. But unless you do that, you haven't got a fucking chance, mate. Not against the champion. Everybody else saw now, you know? No, that's why you have to make sure to check out Oban Elliott make his UC debut in Los Angeles at UC 298 on February the 17th. Uh, Say Oban. That again. Say that again. Say that Make again. sure to check out Oban Elliott's UC debut on February 17th in Los Angeles at UC 298. Uh, Oban, is there anything else you want yeah, to say right. to the people tuning in that are going to be watching the Welsh gangster make his UC debut? I just want to say thank you for for the fucking for being a fan of MMA and for supporting me if you even know who I am. Uh, for supporting me and for all the people who are fucking fuming, fuming, and sitting there thinking, "Look at this bastard!" When you watch me walk onto the fu- fucking walk into the octagon, like I fucking own the place. I hope your head's cooked watching me on Saturday. I hope your head is cooked. I hope you sit there jealous as fuck, green in the face, thinking, "Look at me!" While you sit on your fucking settee, tamping. The old Ban Elliott is on your screen. That's what I fucking hope for you. <laughs> there you have it, Baz. The man, the myth, the legend. The fucking the Welsh... legend! The, <laughs> the fucking old man Elliot, baby! <laughs> Woo! Le champion! Le champion! <laughs> oh, man. Thank you very much for your time. We'll obviously be in touch with you. Shout out to everyone that follows up the Oban Elliot train because uh, they always get in touch with us after you come on the show and they're big fans. But yes. thank you very much for your time, Oban. All thank aboard you. the Oban Elliot Express. Energize show up the Irish. Been sussing you guys a couple of times. I've seen a couple of clips. I think you've done some interviews with Dylan Moran and that. But I, I, I saw. So keep going. Keep up the good work, guys.